Hey everyone, welcome back to STEM with Chantel. Tonight we are going to learn and do some bubble engineering. Let's get into it. For bubble engineering, first we will make wands that will help to engineer bubbles of different shapes. Second, we will create a bubble solution. To make your own bubble wands, you will need four straws and string. Take your four straws and a cut of string. I want you to decide if you want to cut your straws into half pieces for a small 3D shape or if you want to keep them long for a larger square or a triangular shape. Feel free to pause the video as you're making your wands. Once you're finished engineering your shape, tie your string on the ends. Depending on your creation, some of you may need to have the ends tied from corner to corner. So now look at your different shapes. Look at your small 3D shapes. Look at your large square triangular shapes. Now that your wand is complete, we're ready to make our bubble solution. Now let's talk about bubbles. Bubbles are formed by the surface tension of water. When you stretch a bubble across your wand, the bubbles cling to the sides as you dip the solution. This allows the bubbles to be all sorts of shapes. Adding soap to your bubble solution reduces the surface tension and slows down the evaporation process, which gives you a long-lasting bubble. Since we're at home, we're going to make our own bubble solution that's better than the ones that you buy at the stores anyway. I'm going to give you two different sets of ingredients. First, I'll tell you the amount that you need that's enough for one person, and then next, I'll tell you the amount you need for 10 people. So for one person, you need six cups of water, half a cup of dish detergent, half a cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of glycerin. Now, if you wanted to make enough for 10 people, instead of six cups of water, you would take 60 cups of water, which is 3.77 gallons of water, since there are 16 cups in a gallon. You know we're doing STEM, so I have to add a little bit of math to the science. And instead of half a cup of dish detergent for one person, you would use five cups of dish detergent, which is 40 ounces, if you wanted enough for 10 people, since there are eight ounces in a cup. Instead of half a cup of cornstarch, you will use five cups of cornstarch, which is 40 ounces, since there are eight ounces in a cup. Instead of one tablespoon of baking powder, for one person, you'll use 0.65 cups of baking powder, which is five ounces, to have enough for 10 people. There's only half an ounce in a tablespoon. And lastly, the last thing you'll add is one tablespoon of glycerin. And if you want enough for 10 people, that's 0.625 cups of glycerin, which is five ounces, since there's only half an ounce in a tablespoon. Now that you have all your ingredients together mixed in the container, you're ready to go outside. So grab all your different wands. I want you to see how the different wands make different shapes and then you'll decide which one you like best and which one makes the coolest bubbles. So try small straw wands, try large straw wands, try store-bought wands if you have any. But the coolest ones, try a clothes hanger, like a baby clothes hanger or a hula hoop. I want you to try those and dip it in your bubble solution and see what bubbles you like best. Thank you for tuning in to STEM with Chantel. I'll see you next time. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.